How you doing guys? My name is Frank, and in this Alma 3 video, I just want to quickly show you how to apply an image to an object. There's uh, many other things you can do with an object, such as change the color, the alpha, the texture, whatever, of the co of the fucking object. You can change the texture of uh, vehicles, not just objects, but also vehicles, I think even units, and shit like that. And I'll go over that in other videos. Um, this is like a kind of a bit more of a broader subject than it would seem. It's not as simple as it would seem anyway. So anyway, I'm going to put a... a in the description of the video, I'll actually put the script command that shows you all the other possible things you could do, but I'll do a actual video that demonstrates all those things more uh, visually and more informative. But anyway, in this video, I'm just going to show you the very basics, basically applying a fucking image to an object. Very simple. Uh, so anyway, just uh, what I did, this is a mission I've already worked on, uh, Altus Insurgency. I haven't released it, but in the base, there is a gearbox with three signs. In this case, I used a notice board for all three signs. You can, it doesn't have to be a notice board, but I just find it to be the most convenient. It's it's nice and big and stands up straight and doesn't look retarded. Anyway, to find the uh, this sign, it's under this uh, empty side, class object signs, and you know you got other signs you could use. You, uh, I think there's like an info stands and shit like that. You could also use a billboard if you wanted, but those are too big in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go over why I didn't use that. But anyway. Basically, two of these signs display rules, and the one in the middle displays the logo of the mission. And uh, basically, I'm, I'm going to show you the the where this is. So I'm going to go to my documents, minimize this, go to Armor 3, other profiles, go to your profile, the missions folder, and then go into your missions folder right here. And I created a folder called images in the mission folder. And this is not necessary, but I just figured this makes it look more organized. So anyway, I created an images folder. And in here, I have my images. They're .paa files, but uh, .jpeg files also work. I don't think .png works. I'm pretty sure that .png does not work. So just make sure it's a .jpeg or .paa. There's probably other file names that you could use, but .paa and .jpeg are the ones I use. And anyway, so this is the loading screen picture, and these are the two rule images. And now I'm going to show you the command I use in the object, which is right here. And just to briefly explain what this is, is this represents the uh, the object that it, the image is being applied to. This right here, or is the command that sets the object texture. And make sure, also, this is very important. If you're if it's a multiplayer mission, make sure that if it's a multiplayer mission, that you have global at the end of set object texture. This makes it so that it's multiplayer synchronized, and that other players could see it. If it's not global, then other players will not be able to see it, and they'll just see a black. Uh, a black image or it'll not even exist and this part is also part of the same command but this, these are the parameters for this so anyway this is right here is the comma that separates them but this zero separate uh, this parameter right here specifically is the selection or the face that the image is applied to on the object and there could be several different selections that you could apply it to but zero in this case is the first. So zero is always the first selection, and then one will be the second, third will be the. I mean, three will be the second, and etc. Et so anyway, zero is the uh, where you want to apply it to on a notice board. And that'll be the the open area of the the sign, and then here make sure it's o you know after the quote, uh, comma you have in quotation marks the path to the image that you want to apply to the object, and this is f being referenced from the. Uh, mission folder, your your insurgency folder, for example, and so it starts from here. So insurgency. If you didn't have a images folder, it would just be this. So hopefully that makes sense. And then this is obviously the the image file, and that's it. And you make sure you have the semicolon at the end. And that is how you apply an image to an object. Now I'm just going to show you one thing that video I haven't seen any video go over uh, about this is uh, the qual the texture quality that a player has, and you have to keep this in mind too. Um, there's different dimensions for objects or images that you could apply to an object, and I'll put those in the, the description as well as the script command and all that, so you can see all the other possibilities. But uh, I forgot to disable the fucking intro. But your video settings, or the, any player's video settings, can affect this, and you have to keep that in mind when you're designing uh, an image that you want to apply to an object. And it depends on how important it is. But the bigger, obviously, the bigger the, the resolution of an image, the bigger the file size. So 
you gotta keep that in mind. Also, the bigger the resolution, the more of an impact it'll have on the GPU or CPU. I'm not exactly not exactly sure what uh, armor how it handles it, but anyway, you can see that this is you can clearly see and read this sign, and even from back here, you could read it pretty well. Well, yeah, you could, you could read it pretty decently. But anyway, the point is that even from staying right here, if a player has their textures on low, you can see that it's going to be almost barely readable, if not, pretty much not readable at all. Unless they get, like, right up to it. Then it's perfectly clear. But if they back up, it becomes very, very blurred out. Better frames, but looks like shit. And obviously that defeats the purpose of the sign. So make sure that when you design these signs that you make sure that the player can at least run up to it and read it and see what the image looks like. So yeah, another, no videos covered that, and I thought that was kind of important because I had to figure out the hard way. But anyway, uh, what else? That's it. Um, if you want to know how to apply or diff know the resolutions of the images that you could apply, I'll put different combinations and different uh, image dimensions that you could put in for your image in the description of the video, and you can just reference that t uh, on how to do it. Anyway, I don't want to make I don't want to make this video too long. So anyway, I'll see you next time, and in the next video, I'll do um, either picture in picture or other variants of how to apply an image to or change uh, an object's color or texture. See you then.